Welcome to all the Jaguar enthusiasts and classic car enthusiasts. Okay, so car's nearly nearly stripped down. Uh, we've just got the just taken the uh, rear diff off it. Um, as you can see, it, to get out the tank, the fuel tank, you take out that uh, wheel well, which is over there. I'll show you in a minute. Uh, so the diff's out. We're just taking the glasses out, but we're just taking that door mechanism out. Uh, and then take the gearbox off tonight and that's it basically stripped um, and then tomorrow we'll break it off the chassis we'll take it off the chassis I should say and um, put it onto this jig so as you can see it's all it's all stripped so just drop the gearbox out uh, this afternoon and, uh, and then it'll go up and get blasted then we'll, we'll split it from the chassis but I just wanted to show you like I said to you yesterday look you can see really how nice they are and, and I guess that red lead was put in in the factory you know I don't know maybe the body was painted and then they were put on or perhaps somebody put some new lights in it and decided to put the red lead in but they're in really good condition but as you as I said look you can see let me get the wiring out of the way you can see that's quite nasty in there and it's quite a bad dimp on it this one's okay, but again, it's pretty nasty inside. So I think we'll just put, replace them and put new ones on. Anyway, so that's the white car. Should be on this jig tomorrow. On, and there's the there's the jig with my car on it. So as you can see, we, how we've done it. Still got to do a few welds here and there, but generally it's okay. And he's bought stainless steel. Uh, box section good knows what that cost and this is uh, the back bit we're going to change this this is a bit of a screw up because what will happen when we finish with it we won't be able to get the bars apart so what we're going to do is actually put two angle iron pieces in there with a bolt through it and then we can split this and take this off separately but as you can see it works works very very nicely okay and this is the jig we've made for the for the chassis so they can be sandblasted um, Basically, I'll just I'll just drop it so you can see it. So it turns on its own almost. So the, when the sandblaster gets it in his bay, he can just it's quite well balanced. Seems to work quite well. Um, the reason we did it down here was because I wanted these pipes to be almost in line with each other. A little bit of a sag in it. We the pipe's not exactly the right tolerance, but it'll do the job. And that's how we've done it. So. Um, we'll take the chassis up and get them, get them done. This is uh, I was saying to you about. This is the box section I was talking to you about at the back of the, at the back of the uh, where it goes underneath the tank. And as you can see, this is the original one. And as you can see, it's absolutely mint condition. All the covering plates, all the closing panels are just really, really good. Um, even the battery boxes. There's a some repair to do to them, but they're quite expensive. I've had to put two new ones in mine, apart from a lot of other things. I've probably spent around five thousand pounds on the on the on all the bits, the sills and and B and A posts and God knows what. And even the wing, um, you can see this wing edge compared to my, the way mine was. Look at, okay, it's, it's got surface rust on it, but it's not gone through any of it. In amazing condition for its age and uh, for a restoration it was a perfect candidate to, so that's where we're at um, just finish this off today and then uh, and then we'll take this car off and put the white one on just to check that these uh, just to check that these fittings uh, basically what we did with that one was is we we made a plate for it and then welded a nut on the inside, a captive nut, and then put the bolt through underneath, as you can see there. I don't know if you can just see it, maybe you can't. And then these ones are just, um, because unfortunately, it's, well not unfortunately, it's nice, it's stainless, but, um, you know, welding stainless and already metal together, you know, the rods, you have to get special rods for it. So there we go, that's it. And, uh, yeah, so this is a, the, this is the second update. This is Wednesday now. I'm not sure what. To, Monday was the 10th. Um, so it's the 12th. Excuse me. It's the 12th today. So it's taken us basically 
we got up here around about 11 o'clock on Monday, so two, two and a half days to get to this point, which is not bad. And these two gents have been helping us. Um, yeah, anyway, that's the way it works. So if you like them, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Maybe by the end of the end of the month we can make it 600 uh, subscribers. That would be great. Anyway, thanks for watching in and take care and bye for now. Bye.